My name's Paul Damien Williams and I am the writer and director of the feature documentary called Gurumul regarding the life of the late great blind indigenous singer Jeffrey Gurumul Yunapingu. I was living in Darwin and actually working at the time for his record label and I saw him in a day-to-day -day context and producer Shannon Swan came up and was also living in, in Darwin at the time and the, the idea of a, a film regarding his life was uh, murdered and essentially what happened, uh, Gurumul said, yeah, but only if Paul directs it. So uh, this film came out of uh, being in the right place at the right time. <laughs> When you start a documentary uh, film, I mean, you can't necessarily anticipate the future, but what you can anticipate is the heart of the story. So a familiarity with your subject, what you imagine is their mission as people, and then that becomes their overall status as characters within your film. If that's clear from the start, then you're able, I think, to accommodate the unknown aspects of the future when you're making a film within that overall context. With Gurumul, it was his, his family and the broader Yongmu uh, community of Alka Island and beyond. So everyone had to be participants and across the ambition of the film. So uh, a lot of trust was called on. It wasn't always easy, but uh, I think the proof is in the pudding with this film. Gurumul's uh, label, Skinny Fish Music, had the foresight to film many of the important events in his career, right through his solo career until we started on the project. So there was a box of about 250 DV, mini DV, DV cam, every uh, small format in the last 20 years in a box in their office, which I sort of digitized and went through. We're also lucky to secure some archival footage and photographs that were uh, shot around the time he was a boy and a baby in Galawinko on Alka Island, the Super 8mm and 16mm, um, which features pretty prominently in the film. So it was a documentary maker's uh, dream to have so much material to draw from, uh, let alone all of the beautiful audio recordings that we had access to. I think of this film uh, much more than a straightforward biopic. In, in a way, like I always imagine it as a parable for a future where we have much more harmonious race relations here in Australia and where we admire and are proud and interact in a positive, harmonious way with our First Nation Indigenous people. So in the relationship uh, that develops between the central characters in this film, Mark, Michael and Gurumul, we see some sort of template for that and I want the conversation about this to be more future orientated, to be more optimistic. That's what I hope for. <laughs> 